This is it. Curry on the mid-range. Curry for three. Another mid-range. And we've seen his drives all the way to the rim. This guy is getting it done on another night. Second straight game that Curry has struggled from the three-point line, but has just been outstanding in every other area. Steve Kerr gets his reserves on the floor. Guys like Jonathan Kaminga. Looks like we're set up for a game six in Los Angeles. Well, let's just hope for his sake and the Lakers that Anthony Davis will be able to go in game six. That is going to be a major storyline. Anthony Lamb on the floor as well. Poole finds Kuminga. And Kuminga, a lot of Warriors fans are clamoring for more playing time, but I haven't seen much of Kuminga in this series. Matchups don't really work, according to Steve Kerr. Which is the only guy's viewpoint that actually matters. matters. <laughs> well, the Warriors will put their NBA record to the test in Game 6. Remember, they have won a single road game, at least one road game, in 28 consecutive playoff series. They have not won a road game in this series yet. They won Game 5 and Game 7 on the road against Sacramento. That is a monumental streak. And if their season is going to continue and get a Game 7 back in this building, they're going to have to make it 29 consecutive playoff series with a single road win at least. As Kaminga hits that one. Again, that's only the Warriors after 11 first half threes. That's only their second three of the second half. Jack Harrison to Gabriel, and that's going to be a foul. Well, there is good news if you're the Lakers. Not only are you still a win away from a trip to the conference finals, they're second in the last four years, but the Lakers have been on a roll, especially at home. Lakers are 6-0 and at home, including the play-in game against Minnesota and the five wins in the playoffs. And going back into the regular season, they won eight consecutive games on their home floor. So they have been formidable at home. Yeah, it won't, won't be easy, and it's not supposed to be easy. As eight it's an eight-second violation. Stephen Curry with 27, had nine in the fourth quarter. At one point, had seven in a row when they needed it most. Wiggins was the star tonight for Golden State. 25 points, 7 boards, 5 assists. Draymond Green chipped in with a double-double with 20 and 10. And although Gary Payton has uh, modest numbers here, Coach, this lineup has worked. Gary Payton a plus 25 in his 27 minutes on the floor, the best among the Warriors tonight. Well, he was really inserted into the lineup as much as anything for his defense, and he's done a great job. The Warriors with a lot of stars tonight, six guys in double figures. But to me, the guy who set the tone tonight was Draymond Green. His energy up and down the floor just got the Warriors moving, and then Andrew Wiggins, I think his best game of the of the playoffs. We know it was his highest scoring. Uh, it was just outstanding, and the Warriors will get it over and run the clock down. And on to game six we go. Well, seven months ago, the Lakers watched the Warriors raise the banner here for their championship. They have the defending champs on the brink, but they cannot close it out tonight. We are headed for a game six as the Warriors beat the Lakers 121-106 in game five. And now eight and two under Steve Kerr in these elimination games.